Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the expansion panel for the GoPower portable solar panel system here at eTrailer. The GoPower Duralite portable solar panel provides 100 watts of energy but if you want a little extra juice and you find that you need a little bit more solar panel power you can pick up an expansion panel like this and you can extend it to up to 300 watts. While the panels themselves look very, very, very similar, what you need to make sure first is that you have the original GoPower Duralite portable solar panel because that comes with the solar controller as well as everything you need to plug it into your RV. While the base kit, which is the GoPower Duralite portable solar panel, cannot be used with your portable power systems, the expansion panel can. It is highly recommended to be used with the GoPower portable base kit, but you can also use this with other systems that have their own solar controller. You'll mount your expansion panel the exact same way you did with the base kit, which is to unfold it and stand it up by the legs. Now your solar controller is gonna have this plug at the end, as well as these quick connect plugs. So you're gonna see how this has three plugs at the end for your expansion panels. So plug the single end onto the other plug, so red to red, black to black. Next, you're gonna connect each end to your expansion panels, as well as your base kit. So this goes into our base kit and we have one expansion panel, so we'll use this one. You don't need to use all three at the same time. Each expansion panel comes with its own extension cord, and that's nice and convenient because then you can space out your panels and still have them connected to your solar controller. Now that we have both of our panels plugged in, we've doubled our wattage to 200 watts, and you can add a third one to get up to 300 watts. While this works great with the GoPower solar controller, you also have some different plugs depending on your portable power system that you're gonna connect this expansion panel to. So we have two different plugs here. We have the eight millimeter DC barrel connector as well as the MC4 connector. The expansion panel comes with a case exactly like the one that came with the base kit and this is padded on the inside just to help protect your solar panel. You put your solar panel in the main pocket but you also have this back pocket with a zipper and that's where you're going to carry all of your wires, your instruction manual as well as any harnesses you want to need or use. Now let's take a closer look at the panel itself just to take a look at the features and how it works. This is a 100 watt monocrystalline solar panel which uses the sun to charge your RV's batteries and what that means is this is a more efficient type of solar panel. We have monocrystalline versus polycrystalline. The monocrystalline here takes a bit more of the sun and converts more of the sun into energy making for a more efficient experience. When I have solar panels, a big thing for me is to protect my investment and that's to make sure they don't break so easily. So when we did have this out all day, I was slightly concerned about having leaves or like stones and pebbles hit it and kick up with the wind. And this is made of impact resistant panel, which is great because then you don't have to worry about them breaking so quickly when you have it outside. On the legs, you are gonna have these grommets and these holes. These are super useful because even though I've had it out in the wind and I haven't noticed them lifting up any, if you wanna be super sure they are mounted to the ground, you can put tent pegs in there and that will keep them secure. Now let's talk about portability. So the main thing about this is how portable it is because you can just fold it up like that and you have magnets on the end and that will hold it together. That way it's not flopping around when you have it stored inside your camper or in your house. We have our magnets here on this side and this is not gonna affect your panel at all in terms of efficiency, but it's just gonna help it keep it closed. We have a handle here on one end that's to make it easier to carry around. And we also have some ports right here on top. So let's take a closer look at what this comes with. Here we have our DC 18 volt port and this is what we're gonna to use to connect our solar controller to. On this side, we have our LED, USB 1, USB 2 ports, and this is what you're gonna connect your phone, your tablet, your electronics to if you wanna get it straight from the source. 
that little light right there is gonna help you see if you actually are getting any sun as this is out, that light will shine up to show that you are drawing in energy. On the outside of the case are these stands and these are gonna have a hook and loop patch to keep them attached or to unattach them. You also have some tie down points on both the solar panel as well as the stands just to keep them in place in case you are worried about the wind. Now, one of the downsides of this being so portable is that it's also so easy to steal. So when you do have this out, I recommend not leaving this unattended and making sure that you are in the area to keep this in sight. We have the system connected to our Mantis, which is already really energy efficient. We have a refrigerator, some AC plugged in, as well as some phones and electronics charging. And you can see here how this helps maintain our battery. We do have some extra solar energy coming through and keeping our battery topped up. Now for those with larger RVs or larger camping equipment and that need a lot more energy, I hope you do understand as well if you've done your research with how much energy you actually need. This is ideal for something like our Mantis camper here or someone who just dry camps every now and then. If you do need an upgrade, we have some other options from Go Power that might work better for you. Right now, it's pretty overcast. It's not as sunny as it was earlier, but you can see here that we still have the green LED light showing that we are still drawing power. So some of the batteries this can handle is seal, gel, AGM, flooded or wet cell batteries, and lithium batteries. Now the solar panel has an output of 5.06 amps and what that means is that's how much energy it can push out of the panel. For example, if you have your phone directly connected to it, you're going to get a lot faster charging speed. Your quick fast charging cable usually draws about 2.1 amps so you can see how fast that can be. My final thoughts about this system is I really like how easy it was to expand my system. So whether you have the Duralite portable solar panel or you have your own portable power system, this expansion panel is a great way. That way you're not limited by 100 watts, but you can add on for bigger, better things. As you add to your gear and your energy usage, you can also add your energy input. The panel itself is nice, strong, and durable, and is very portable. That way you can follow the sun and make sure you get the most out of it. And that was a look here at the expansion panel for the Go Power portable solar panel here at E-Trailer.